Billie Eilish is an American singer-songwriter. She first gained public attention in 2015 with her debut single, Ocean Eyes, which was subsequently released by Darkroom, an imprint of Interscope Records. It was written and produced by her brother, Phineas O'Connell, with whom she frequently collaborates on music and in live shows. Her commercially successful debut extended play Don't Smile at Me, 2017, charted in the top 15 in numerous countries, including the US, UK, Canada, and Australia. Eilish's first studio album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, 2019, debuted atop the US Billboard 200 and UK Albums Chart. It was one of the best-selling albums of 2019, buoyed by the success of its fifth single, Bad Guy, Eilish's first number one on the US Billboard Hot 100. The following year, she co-wrote and performed the theme song, No Time to Die, for the James Bond film of the same name, which topped the UK singles chart and won the Academy Award for Best Original Song in 2022. Her subsequent singles, Everything I Wanted, My Future, Therefore I Am, and Your Power, each peaked in the top 10 in the US and UK. Her second studio album, Happier Than Ever, 2021, reached number one in 25 countries. Eilish has received multiple accolades, including seven Grammy Awards, two American Music Awards, two Guinness World Records, three MTV Video Music Awards, three Brit Awards, a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award. She is the youngest artist in Grammy history and third overall to win all four general field categories, Best New Artist, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Album of the Year, in the same year. She was featured on Time Magazine's inaugural Time 100 Next list in 2019 and the Time 100 in 2021. According to the RIAA and Billboard, Eilish is the 26th highest certified digital singles artist and one of the most successful artists of the 2010s. Career. 2015 2017. Don't smile at me. In 2015, 13 year old Eilish began working on songs with her brother Phineas who had been writing and producing for several years and had his own band. The first songs they recorded together were called, She's Broken, and, Fingers Crossed. The first songs that we worked on, we didn't write together. He wrote this song called, She's Broken, and I wrote one called, Fingers Crossed, and we recorded them and put them out on SoundCloud, just for fun, she recalls. On November 18, 2015, Eilish released the song, Ocean Eyes. The track was written, mixed, and produced by Phineas, who had written and produced it originally for his band The Slightlies, before realizing it would be a better fit for Eilish's vocals. He gave it to Eilish when her dance teacher at the Revolution Dance Center, Fred Diaz, asked them to write a song for choreography. The siblings uploaded the song to SoundCloud, where Diaz could access and download it. The song received several hundred thousand listens in two weeks, and Phineas's manager, Danny Rukeson, reached out to him to discuss Eilish's potential. In Rukeson's opinion, she could achieve significant success with Phineas's help. In January 2016, Phineas and his manager arranged a deal in which Apple Music signed Eilish to A&R company Platoon, specializing in packaging emerging artists before they get a major label contract. Eilish then got a publicist, who connected her to the luxury fashion brand Chanel, and a stylist, both of whom helped shape her image. On March 24, 2016, a music video for, Ocean Eyes, directed by Megan Thompson was premiered on Eilish's official YouTube channel. Ocean Eyes, and Eilish would receive praise and promotion from various media outlets and marketers, including radio stations and music supervisors such as Beats One. KCRW, BBC One, Zane Lowe, Jason Kramer, Annie Mack, and Chris Doritas. On June 23, 2016, Eilish and Phineas released, Six Feet Under, through SoundCloud as her second single. A homemade music video for the song was released on June 30, 2016. It was directed by Eilish and edited by her mother, Maggie Baird. In August 2016, Justin Loveliner, who had noticed Eilish's talent back in 2015 when he first heard, 
Ocean Eyes, signed her to Darkroom and Interscope Records. He developed her rollout as an artist, taking inspiration from the model of hip-hop artists such as Travis Scott and Chance the Rapper, not relying on one big single and focusing on creating a persona and distinct aesthetic. Darkroom and Interscope Records re-released Six Feet Under and Ocean Eyes as singles for digital download and streaming on November 17 and 18, 2016, respectively. On November 22, 2016, a dance performance music video for Ocean Eyes was uploaded to Eilish's YouTube channel. On January 14, 2017, Eilish released an EP with four remixes by Astronomy, Black Bear, Goldhouse, and Cautious Clay for Ocean Eyes, and released another EP for Six Feet Under, featuring remixes by Blue Jay, Yazo, Jerry Folk, and Air Atlantica. Following the success of the Ocean Eyes remixes, Eilish released Bellyache on February 24, 2017. A music video for the song was released on March 22, 2017, and was directed by Miles and AJ. Eilish later released Bored on March 30, 2017, as part of the soundtrack to the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. A music video for Bored was later released on June 26, 2017. In March of the same year, Apple Music showcased Eilish at the South by Southwest Music Festival. On June 30, 2017, Eilish released, Watch. Eilish later released another single, Copycat, which was released on July 14, 2017, and announced the release of her debut EP, Don't Smile at Me. Eilish later released, I Don't Wanna Be You Anymore, and, My Boy. On August 11, 2017, Eilish released Don't Smile at Me. The EP was a sleeper hit, reaching number 14 on the U.S. Billboard 200. Eilish embarked on the Don't Smile at Me tour throughout October 2017 in support of her EP. Eilish released Bitches Broken Hearts through SoundCloud on November 10, 2017, 2018-2020. When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? In February 2018, Eilish embarked on her second headlining concert tour, the Where's My Mind Tour, which concluded in April 2018. Bitches Broken Hearts was re-released worldwide on March 30, 2018. For Record Store Day 2018, Eilish released Party Favor on a pink 7-inch vinyl, along with a cover of Hotline Bling, written by Canadian rapper Drake as the B-side. Eilish collaborated with American singer Khalid for the single Lovely, which was released on April 19, 2018 and added to the soundtrack for the second season of 13 Reasons Why. She later released, You Should See Me in a Crown, in July 2018, in July of the same year, Eilish performed at the Mo Pop Festival. On the day of release for her single, When the Party's Over, Eilish was featured in Vanity Fair's, 73 Questions, Rapid Fire Questionnaire video series by Joe Sabia who revisited a previous interview from October 2017. The resulting video was a side-by-side -side time capsule of both interviews showing her growth in popularity over one year. She signed a talent contract with Next Management for fashion and beauty endorsements in October 2018. She was placed on the 2018 Forbes 30 Under 30 list in November of that year, and released the single, Come Out and Play, in November 2018, which was written for a holiday-themed Apple commercial. In early January 2019, Don't Smile at Me reached 1 billion streams on Spotify, making her the youngest artist to top 1 billion streams on a project. That month, Eilish released, Bury a Friend, as the third single from her debut album When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, along with, When I Was Older, a single inspired by the 2018 film Roma, which appeared on the compilation album Music Inspired by the Film Roma. In February, Eilish partnered with YouTube for a documentary miniseries titled, A Snippet Into Billy's Mind. Wish You Were Gay, her fourth single from the album, was released on March 4, 2019. In October 2020, Eilish announced a livestream concert titled Where Do We Go? The livestream set to air from Los Angeles on October 24 of that same year, 
with proceeds from the show's merchandise raising funds to support event crew members affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. In a Vanity Fair interview, Eilish said she was working on 16 new songs and love ing them all, revealing an upcoming musical project. Eilish won three Billboard Music Awards on October 24, Billboard Music Award for Top Female Artist, Billboard Music Award for Top Billboard 200 Album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? And Billboard Music Award for Top New Artist, out of the 12 that she was nominated for. In that same month, she also announced a new single, entitled, Therefore I Am, which was released along with its music video on November 12, 2020. Eilish performed, Therefore I Am, and, My Future, at the Jingle Ball in December 2020. 2021 present, happier than ever. Lo Vasa Olvidar, a single featuring Rosalia as a part of HBO's Euphoria soundtrack, was released in January 2021, almost two years after initially teasing the song. The R. J. Cutler directed documentary film Billie Eilish, The World's a Little Blurry was released on Apple TV Plus and in select movie theaters. The film was praised by critics and fans for its in-depth look at Eilish's personal life during her ascension to fame. At the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards, Eilish took home two awards, the Grammy Award for Best Song Written for Visual Media, for her Bond theme and the Grammy Award for Record of the Year for her 2019 single, Everything I Wanted. In her acceptance speech for Record of the Year, Eilish said that Megan Thee Stallion deserved to win, but still thanked her fans and her brother Phineas for her award. On April 27, 2021, Eilish announced on her Instagram account that her second album, Happier Than Ever, would be released on July 30th, and the tracklist was made available on Apple Music. The album was released on various formats, including collectible vinyl and cassette colors. The album's release was preceded by five singles, My Future, Therefore I Am, Your Power, Lost Cause, and NDA, and was accompanied by the title track. On December 2, 2021, Eilish announced an eco-friendly limited edition vinyl version of Happier Than Ever Made from recycled vinyl scraps. The collector's item was only made available at a number of Gucci stores around the world and included Gucci-branded nail stickers designed by the brand's creative director Alessandro Michel. In June 2021, Eilish was criticized for videos in which she mouthed the anti-Asian slur, chink, while lip-syncing the song, Fish, by Tyler, the creator, and for using black scent and African-American vernacular English. Eilish was also accused of queerbaiting after using the caption, I love girls, to promote the music video for, Lost Cause, Better Source Needed. On June 22, she posted an apology to Instagram stories for her usage of, chink, saying that she was, appalled and embarrassed, by the video and that she was, 13 or 14 inches at the time and did not know the slur was a derogatory term. She also addressed a separate video of what was viewed as her mocking an Asian accent, writing that she was actually, speaking in a silly gibberish made-up voice. Reflecting on the events in a July 2021 interview, Eilish stated, I said so many things then that I totally don't agree with now, or think the opposite thing. The weirdest thing is how nothing ever goes away once it's on the internet. When you're a fucking teenager, you don't really know yourself. I didn't actually know how I really felt. So I just came up with this facade that I stuck to. Eilish and O'Connell wrote three original songs for the 2022 Pixar film Turning Red, Nobody Like You, You Know What's Up, and One True Love, performed in the film by the fictional boy band Four Town. She headlined both weekends of the 2022 Coachella Music Festival, performing with her brother Phineas. In June 2022, during her Manchester show, she debuted the ballad, TV, with her brother Phineas.